inde wo na ina imela maka ison yere oku chukua abunwa akokwa nafa inkano na soso ibo biko ba yara meja hello and welcome thank you for joining this sermon i am a student in the fourth year of ibo please forgive my mistakes Mbeyani na rawano ayinile ne mary when we work together we all win na soso ibo na beke in ibo and english tata aku konso wan ibia site na apopo isi iri na sana ama oku asato site na ama oku iri na ta na kuru amalek we bia busu israel aya nime refadin Moses we see Joshua. Raputara ayi indikom. Pua. Busu amalekaya. Echimu onwem gane guzo. Onwem nelu ugwa. Terichere goni. Nelu ugu intanka. Nejide impanaka chieke nakam. Joshua we me dika Moses siria. Ibuso amalekaya. Mach Moses na era nahua. We go ro ne lu ugu in tahu. O rue, umbe Moses, we liri akaya elu. Na Israel, kariri ike. Mach umbe omerika akaya, zurike. Amalek kariri ike. Ma aka Moses abuadi ara. Hachwe were in kume. Tie ya, no puru ya. O, na kwasi ya. Eren na hua we jide. Akaya abua elu, otu onye notu akuku, ibeya nakuku waza. Akaya abua we negu zo sike rue odida anyanu. Joshua we me kike gu amalek nanu uma aya. Today our scripture comes from Exodus chapter 17 verse 8 to 13 that says, Now Amalek came and fought with Israel and Rephidim. And Moses said to Joshua, Choose us some men and go out to fight with Amalek. Tomorrow I will stand on the top of the hill with the rod of God in my hand. So Joshua did as Moses said to him and fought with Amalek. And Moses, Aaron, and Hur went up to the top of the hill. And so it was, when Moses held up his hand, that Israel prevailed. And when he let down his hand, Amalek prevailed. But Moses' hands became heavy, so they took a stone and put it under him and sat on it. And Aaron and Hur supported his hands one on one side and the other on the other side. And his hands were steady until the going down of the sun. So Joshua defeated Amalek and his people with the edge of the sword. New King James Version. It is hard to find success. It is, excuse me. It is not hard to find successful people in this world. These people are successful because as a group, they work together. Many of the most successful American businesses began as small businesses. Here's a list of small businesses that became large businesses. McDonald's, Walmart, Whole Foods Market, Starbucks, Ben & Jerry's, Nike. India Azomahia e Mela, Puku i Jerry Inke, Nera Maka, Ototo Afa. These companies have made trillions of Nera for many years. Inke abo ihi naha, re re, e buka na ke re, Ototo Ebe indi oza ire ihe. This is because they sold stocks and created many additional locations to sell things. Ha, jikatara, ego ha maka ike oza. They combined their monies for more power. Ha, nejikota, uburu inke indi oza, imezu ike indi oza. They combined the talents of more people to accomplish more things. When people work together, they all succeed. 
Ako kwa insa, nako zibi anyi, neji indanda dika, ihoto. The Bible teaches us using the ant as an example. Ilu isi isi na ama oku isi. Site na ama oku iri no tu neku. Jekuru indanda, onye ume ingu, le uza ya nile, we mara ike. Inke nengwe yi onyisi. Mabu onye nele anya nalu. Mabu onye na chiachi. Mahne dozi inri ya na mbe okom oku. Nepo kota kwa ike oriri ya na mbe owuwe ike ubi. Rue ole mbe ki gane dina ala. Gi onye ume ingu. Ole mbe ki gesi nuragi bilie. Wa ure nta, wa irura nta, wa ipa kaba aka nta ndina ala. Obeye gi ewe di bia dika onye neje yari ipu nara madu ihe. Ihe uka gi kwa dika woke jiota. Proverbs chapter 6 verse 6 to verse number 11 says, Go to the ant you sluggard, consider her ways and be wise, which having no captain, overseer or ruler. Provides her supplies in the summer and gathers her food in the harvest. How long will you slumber, O slugger? When will you rise from your sleep? A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep. So shall your poverty come on you like a prowler and your need like an armed man. Ilu isi isi na ama oku isi. Site na ama oku iri no tu na gwa anyi. Iraro ilanari. Proverbs chapter 6 verse 6 verse 11 is telling us to work to survive. It is telling us not to be lazy people. However, it is teaching us more things. The end is both a worker alone and a member in a group. However, they work without a leader. Also, they never starve because they work together. Ants have different types of jobs. Odi abola nke oro, maka nkoma nke indanda nile. They combine all of the labor from each of the types of jobs for the good of all the ants. Nime obodo indanda, dabere odi arna nke oro indi. Cherry godi. Nime obodo indanda, dabere odi arna nke oro indi. In a village of ants, there are four types of jobs. Odi inke umbo, inke indanda bo onyaro. The first type of ant is the worker. Onyaro bo wanyi, the worker is a female. O nachikota inri maka indanda indioza. She gathers food for the other ants. O ibu awara indi nime ala maka indanda indi oza. She digs tunnels in the ground for the other ants. Ozakwa o nele kota inke omo ochoro nime obodo indanda. Also, she takes care of the babies in the ant village. Odi inka boa inke indanda bo onyaya. The second type of ant is the soldier. Oro ya bo iji jebe obodo indanda. His job is to protect the ant village. Odi in Katong ke in Danda bo onye duronu. The third type of ant is the drone. O in Wewe inku indi dika in nono. He has wings like a bird. O nefepo i chota obodo ochoro maka in Danda. He flies away to find a new village for the ants. Odi in Katong ke in Danda bo eze wanyi. The fourth type of ant is the queen. O namo ingwa inye nile inke indanda nime obodo indanda. She gives birth to all the ants in the ant village. 
in Don Don Nilea, Narawa Wano, all these ants work together. Ha and Wei Ike Lanari, Ne Wei in Don Don in the Oza, they cannot survive without the other ants. Omo Mato, in Don Don and Wei Ike Iwe, Omo Ahoro, Ne Wei Eze Wani, for example, the ants cannot have babies without the queen. Eze Wani, in Wei Ike in Weta Inri in Kea. The queen cannot get her own food. In the oral, ayagi in yaya inri, the workers must feed her. Ozakwa in danda, ngacho onwe ha aja maka o demanke in danda oza. Also, the ants will sacrifice themselves for the welfare of the other ants. Omomato ha inwewe ike, ime aqua umiri in kea ho ha. For example, they can make a bridge of their bodies. Ha ne me in kea, ka were in dandanile, in were ike izere, nada ni me o yere ni me ala. They do this so that all the ants can avoid falling into a hole in the ground. In danda abola, ge jije gafe yazo winke, in danda in the oza, in ye koko, in ke oza in ke o yere. Each ant will walk across the backs of the other ants. To the other side of the hole. Ozakwa in danda na lago dika otu. Furthermore, ants fight as a group. Abanyegi in danda abola di obere dika otu ha inwere ike ibu agua. Although each ant is small, as a group they can kill a snake. Dika umado anika ribi in danda. As human beings, we are superior to ants. Aniyayagi in were in nuku inka in hazikaria in danda. We must have greater organizational skills than an ant. Aniyayagi in were umma atomato inka karia in danda. We must have better planning skills than an ant. Ani in were ike in mezu ike undi uku karia tongebe in danda nihina ani e meri no ninyo inke chineke. Genesis A C O two na am oku iri aboa ni si. We can achieve greater things compared to an ant because we are made in the image of God. Genesis chapter one verse twenty six. Ani inwebe ike ime ike indi kari kariri cherry godi. Ani inwebe ike ime ike indi kariri indanda aboro na ani na raro ano. We can do more things than the ants if we work together. Ani inwebe ike ime ike indi kariri in danda aboro na ani me pota idi notu na indi Christ oza. We can do more things in the ants if we create unity with other Christians. Oza ka ani tole akopa ani banyebe Moses na umu Israel. Again, let's discuss our story about Moses and the children of Israel. Ha no naya imere ala kenan di ka chineke kwere ha inkwa. They were in a battle to conquer the land of Canaan, as God promised to them. They are in a difficult battle with the Amalekite army. Joshua is the leader of God's army. Satan's army was the Amalekite army. Ani mara na ha bo indi iru inke chineke. We know that they were the enemies of God. Inke ya bo niki na ha bo na la po ato mato chineke maka umu Israel. This is because they were opposing God's plan for the children of Israel. Ha ne me gide inkwa chineke. They were opposing God's promise. Ha pa libi site Satan. They were motivated by Satan. Satan no ni me obi inke indi Amalek. Satan was in the hearts of the Amalekites. Enwewe, mbe nile o zama maka, onye inke Christ. There is always good news for the Christian. Chaita, Satan ga maka, mbe nile, in kwa chineke. Remember, Satan will always challenge God's promises. Ma, ane mere ya, mbe nile, mbe yo, nama in kwa chineke, ata inye. 
but he is always defeated when he challenges God's promises to us. This is the reason Satan challenges your faith. He wants your lack of faith to offend God. He does not want to see you, uh, excuse me, he does not want to see God bless you. Satan charagi obia boa in quadile in ke chineke in yegi. Satan wants you to doubt all of God's promises to you. Equela ka Satan merie. Do not let Satan win. In sobu gi bo dika in diaya amalek. Your issues are like the Amalekite army. No kukwe i ge meriha. With faith, you will defeat them. Oza ka ani la lachi chere godi. Oza ka ani la yachi na akokwa akokwa insa chere godi. Oza ka ani la yachi na akoka. Again, let's return to our Bible story about Moses and the children of Israel. Moses, Aaron Nahuabo, Indi Wokeyota, Nelu Ugu. Moses, Aaron, and her are three men on the hill. Joshua na Indi Wokeya, Nebuso Indi Aya Amalek na, Indagurugu, Di Nopuru. Joshua and his men are fighting the Amalekite army in the valley below. Na umbo Moses nok neme nile inke oro umoa. At first, Moses was doing all of the spiritual work. Inke apotara abo neguzo nelu ugu. This means he was standing on the hill. Ozakwa umbe guzo ota o jite siri umkanaka chineke nikuku. Also, while standing up, he held the rod of God in the air. Umbe umpa naka chineke no ni kuku umu Israel gaga nihu i meriaya. When the rod of God was in the air, the children of Israel would continue to win the battle. Otu odi umbe umpa naka chineke boyi ni kuku umu Israel gamalite ida aya. However, when the rod of God was not in the air, the children of Israel would begin to lose the battle. Umbe Moses yara ike guoro aka ya gara. When Moses became tired, his hands would drop. Enke apatara umpa naka ida. This caused the rod to drop. Niki ya oza umu Israel gamalite nefu nahuaya. Consequently, again the children of Israel would begin losing the battle. Enke abo in sobu. This was a problem. Ubua, umu Israel, gachata ike unguata inye aka Moses ike guoro. Now the children of Israel had to find a solution to help the tired Moses. Ere nahua, chotara ike unguata inye aka Moses. Aaron and her found a solution to help Moses. Ha, tinye re o tu inkume no puru Moses inye ya aka. Inada, inado ala nogeaya. Jere gode. Ha tin yere o tu inkume no puru Moses inye ya aka. Inado ala nogeaya. They put a stone under Moses to help him sit down during the battle. Ever nahua. Jide siri Moses aka ni kuku. Aaron and her held Moses' hands in the air. Inkea de bere mpanaka chineke. This kept the rod of God lifted in the air. This gave the children of Israel victory in the war against the Amalekite army in the valley. Yavo, Ginika, Anakozi, Inyeani. So what is being taught to us? Inkeumbo. Ani ayayi i yota na Moses bo dika Jesus maka ani dika indi Christ. First, we must understand that Moses is like Jesus for us as Christians. Oboro na ani 
e buli Jesus elu site ne bu bere ya isi in zuka Christ doom ge Mary. If we lift up Jesus by obeying him, the entire church will win. How can we do it? Matthew chapter 25, verse 31 to 40, tells us how to do it. Ma umbe abula inwa nke madu gabia ne bube ya yahna indi mo ozi in nile umbe ya huka o ganat kwasi no che eze inke e bube ya ma ni ruyaka e gemeka umbe inile zuka o ngeke waputa kwaha o tu naru ibe ya vika onye nazu aturu. Neke waputa aturu numu ewu o gedebe kwa aturu naka inriya ma umu ewu naka epe umbe yahu eze yahu gasi indi o no naka inriya bianu indi agaziri agazi inke inam ketanu aleze edozi woro unu sitena intalan ke uwa Niki na agu gurum unu we inyem ihe ngeri apiri param inku unu we kuru miri inyem abum abu abia unu we pabatam abaramata unu we bokwasim akwa ara adi mike unu we letam anam nulo imparam unu we biakutem. Umbe yaku windi ezi o mume yaku gaza ya. Si onye wagi. Ole umbe yagi hurugi ka agu nagugi. Agi we zuagi. Mabuka apiri napagi inku. Agi we kuru miri inyegi. Ole umbe yagi hukwaragi ki bu abia. Agi we pabatagi. Mabuki naba ato. Agi we bokwasi gi akwa. Ole umbe yagi hukwa ragi ka. Ara aru nadi ike. Mabu nulo umpara. Agi we biakute gi. Eze yaku gaza kwa. Siha. Nezi ya si munu. Kara. Bu otu unu si me ya. Nge otu onye. Nime umu inam india. Bu indi dika resivi inta. Muka unu mere ya inye. It says, when the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the holy angels with him, then he will sit on the throne of his glory. All the nations will be gathered before him and he will separate them one from another as a shepherd divides his sheep from the goats. And he will set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Then the king will say to those on his right hand, come, you blessed of my father, and here the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you took me in. I was naked and you clothed me. I was sick and you visited me. I was in prison and you came to me. Then the righteous will answer him, saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and take you in, or naked and clothe you? Or when did we see you sick or in prison and come to you? And the king will answer and say to them, Assuredly I say to you, inasmuch as you did it to one of the least of these, my brethren, you did it to me. Ihe indiangi, neme maka indi Christ, Inke oza, Jesus to lere ha, dika ike indi e me chala makaya. The things we do for other Christians, Jesus considers them as things done for him. Maka inzuka Christ do i meri aya me gide Satan. Ani ayagi inye inri inye, indi Christ in ke oza, umbe ha no na umpa. For the entire church to win battles against Satan, we must feed other Christians when they are in need. Maka nzuka Christ doom, i meri aya me gide Satan. Ani ayagi inye, un meri inye, indi Christ, ni me umpa. For the entire church to win battles against Satan, we must give water to Christians in need. Maka nzuka Christ doom, i meri aya me gide Satan. Ani ayagi inye, ola maka indi Christ, nengwe ebe obibi. Cherry Goldie. 
Maka Izuka Christ do I Mary Aya Megi de Satan Ani Ayani Inye Ola Maka Indi Christ Nengwegi Ebe Obibi For the entire church to win battles against Satan, we must provide shelter for homeless Christians. Maka Nzuka Christ doom I Mary Aya Megi de Satan Ani Ayani Inye Uwe Inye Indi Christ Nime Umpa For the entire church to win battles against Satan, we must provide clothing to Christians in need. Maka Nzuka Christ do I Mary Aya Megi de Satan Ani Ayaki Inye Aba Mume Inye Indi Christ Nime Umpa For the entire church to win battles against Satan, we must provide encouragement to Christians in need. Maka Nzuka Christ do I Mary Aya Megi de Satan Ani Ayaki Inye Inkasi Obi Inye Indi Christ Nime Umpa for the entire church to win battles against Satan, we must provide comfort to Christians in need. Maka Nzuka Christ doom I Mary Aya Megi de Satan Ani Ayagi Iga Leta Indi Christ Nime Ola Umpara. For the entire church to win battles against Satan, we must visit Christians in prison. Umba Yangi Mere Ike India Ani Neme Indi Aya Nke Onye Wai Dikuo Ike. When we do these things, we make the army of the Lord stronger. Ani nakwado ya iga niku na lago ayaya. We encourage it to continue fighting its battle. Ani napata ya imeri indi neme gide ya. We cause it to overpower its opponents. Ani neye Jesus in kwado aho ochara umbe yani. Neye in kwado indi Christ indi oza. We give Jesus the support he wants when we give support to other Christians. Ubuah ka ani kuo banyebe ac enweta indo ebi ebi site na chine ke atomato wenke yenzapota. Now let's talk about how to gain eternal life by means of God's plan of salvation. Nime inchi kota chine ke atomato wenke yenzapota inwebe yenza okuo isi. In summary, God's plan of salvation has six steps. Inza okuo otu bo na umado ge me re re no oku ahu inke chilike. Step one is that one must hear the word of God. Inza okuo aboa bo na umado ge me re re kwe re na Jesus Christ bo bo apara inke chilike. Terry Gody inza okuo aboa bo na umado ge me re re kwe re na Jesus Christ bo. Step two is that one must believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Inza okuo ato both na umado ge me riri iche yari inke ime hie ya. Step three is that one must repent of his sins. Inza okuo ano both na umado ge kupota Jesus dika apara inke chineke. Step four is that one must confess Jesus as the Son of God. Inza okuo ise bok na umado ge me riri e me baptizim maka umba yara inke ime hie ya. Step five is that one must be baptized for the forgiveness of his sins. Inza okuo isi bok na umado ge me riri no gide kwe sivi intu kwasi obi inye Jesus o bachi nire inke endo ya noa. Step six is that one must stay faithful to Jesus all the days of his life on earth. Biko chata enzuka Christ ahu in so gi, in ke mere na in were ike kupota o kukwe gi ni me Jesus na e me baptizen maka in zapota gi tata. Please find the Church of Christ near you so that you can confess your faith in Jesus and be baptized for your salvation today. I me la maka ike inte chupo gozi egi. Thank you for listening. God bless you. Mbe yani na raro ano ano ani nile ne mere. When we work together, we all win.